Hey friends, today I am at Epcot for the Festival of the Arts. I am so excited. They have some of my favorite food during this festival and I'm just excited to try some new ones as well. So, let's go do this. First things first, grab ourselves a Festival of the Arts passport. Celebrating five years. This is the fifth year of Festival of the Arts. How amazing is that? I remember actually coming for the first year of Festival of the Arts and thinking, wow, this is really nifty. And I hope they keep on doing it. And look at us, five years later, here we are. It seems like every time it's an opening day for a new festival, the attraction wait times kind of drop down a little bit. Spaceship Earth is at five minutes, but I think that's because most people are spending their time in World Showcase. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna head right on over to World Showcase because I wanna eat some food and I also just wanna take in the Festival of the Arts itself. The One of my favorite things to do for the Festival of the Arts is the paint by number mural. And they're definitely doing it this year. It makes me so happy. And they have little markers. So like it's socially distanced, seven, five, four, and they'll mix it up so that there's always a big space in between. It's very clever. I'm a little shocked because I thought that this was going to be a super long line. Normally, not during socially distanced times, it was actually a long line. But it looks like we're going to probably wait for 10 minutes. Not too shabby. Welcome. Welcome. Any color you want. Ooh. The brothers are here. When you get to the meal, you're going to paint five squares with the number that is on top of your bed. Wow, so you get to pick the color. Yes. Well, I think I'm going to do blue. There you go. Luckily... <laughs> Jackie's here with me because I, might be I making it worse. I hope not. Just spilled paint all over my Epcot spirit jersey. Shoot. Wait, and maybe that's it's coming off. How the cookie crumbles. <laughs> well, I was actually going to try to do this on my own, but after I've already spilled blue paint all over my black spirit jersey, I've asked Jackie Super Enthused to actually <laughs> hold the camera, which is very important at this point because I have paint all over me. So we're doing six. Oh boy, I should have looked first. Yeah, I had the same <laughs> issue. <laughs> it's right, like I got this. I'm going to do this. Oh yeah. Whoa. Like that. Oh yeah. I'm not good at getting it in the lines. I am so sorry to the people who have five who have to come behind me. There we go. Very good. Very good. I've done good. You did good. I did good. Maybe I'm not so good. You're great. Another little quote. There you did a Tetris piece. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like plenty of other people have spilt their paint. This is a very, very tough thing. I got paint on my hands. Look at my hands. I have yellow. I have yellow paint. What? I didn't even paint with yellow. Once this is actually all completed, this is what it's going to look like. And it's so awesome because they're going to actually like pretty much just put it somewhere that we can actually visit it and see. But that is really nice, isn't it? As you could tell, I'm not very good at art or painting in general. So that's why I'm going to focus a lot on probably the food and also some of the beverages. But we are going to check out some of the very good art by professional artists, not people who can't even do paint by numbers like myself and end up getting blue paint on their shirt, but then a mysterious yellow paint as well on their shirt. I don't even know how that happened. Amazing photo opportunities, including right here, and it's kind of like out of nowhere. You can just kind of stand in front of it and become figment. Pretty awesome. So you just kind of put your back into it, like this, a little bit, and it kind of, oh wow, look at that, it does. I love the figment wings on the wall, but these are my absolute favorite when it comes to Festival of the Arts. Oh, we gotta do this. It's beautiful right oh, here yeah. too, isn't it? Oh my gosh, what a background. I know. I mean, I wish you could see through it, but yeah. I mean, oh, what if a monorail was coming right oh. now? That would be perfect. Look at the look at the thing. It tells you what to do. You got the <laughs> Oh yes, very seductive. Very good. Oh, even, you have improved upon the art. I'm going to keep my eye out for any of those awesome photo opportunities. But right now, I need to get something to eat. I am so hungry. And there were some things that I've seen already, like that they actually like pre-released, that I was like, I cannot wait to try that. So we're going to try to hunt them down one by one. One of the things I've seen, and I knew I was absolutely going to love, is the vanilla, rose water, and pistachio panna cotta. Because I love pistachio. Oh my lord, what is this? 
It looks so beautiful. Yeah. I am so excited to dive into this. Look at this. Uh oh. Oh, it just breaks open. Oh, wow. So I want to make sure I get a little bit of everything. So I'm going to get a little of that pistachio, a little bit of the crust, all in one bite. Before I take off my mask, I need to tell you guys something. I had a slight shaving accident and I accidentally grabbed the wrong size clipper and I shaved my beard down way too much. So be prepared because I was shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked. Shocked. But we're trying this. Oh boy. I'm excited. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. Yeah. I feel like this was a very unfair thing to start off with because this is so amazing. Isn't it it's so beautiful and so amazing. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like everything I try from now on is going to be downhill. The bar is set high. It is set high. Like I said, it's going to be hard to top that, but I'm sure there are going to be other amazing things. I'm a big fan of pistachio, so once I seen pistachio in the title of that, I was like, I got to get it. But there is another pistachio, like kind of dessert, that I have to track down, and that is the one I've also been eyeing up. The cool thing about the taste of Epcot International Festival of the Arts is the actual entertainment and artists change sometimes weekly. So you can come here and see one thing and then it's gone the next and there's always something new. And this year the show place is actually housing some pretty amazing entertainment. So we're definitely going to go in there. Ooh. This is also the busiest I've actually seen it in World Show Place since it opened back up. They added so much more tables. They extended the whole entire venue all the way down. They just opened it up a lot more. And it being Epcot and the Festival of the Arts, the most anticipated dish I feel like is gonna be Remy's Ratatouille. I am so excited to try this. Can you even believe it? Like we're gonna have Ratatouille here this year and now we're gonna be able to have some Ratatouille. And then also I hear the lemon blood orange tart is very good. So we might get both of those. Other than the Ratatouille and then the actual blood orange tart, I think we're gonna get ourselves some drinks because they have some amazing selections. A Three Daughters Strawberry Blonde Air, a Nitro Vanilla Porter, and then even a Cold Fashioned Coffee Cocktail. Wow. They actually have a whole flight. So you can actually get the Three Daughters Strawberry Blonde Nitro, and then you can get the Vanilla Porter, and then the Milk Stout Nitro. Wow, I, th I think I'm just gonna do the flight. This is why I love coming to festivals with friends. Jackie went over there and got things that I wanted from that one. So I'm gonna get things from this stand that I want for myself and her. And then we like divide and conquer. And also we can take photos of each other, especially with all those different cool photo opportunities. And this is what I was talking about when I said divide and conquer. I said the same thing. Divide and conquer, divide and conquer, right? Look at all of this. It's a feast and it's so beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Everything looks just so unique. We have two ratatouilles because we're gonna have one each, two of the pistachio cakes. You got the steak tartare, uh -huh. and then I got the blood orange lemon tart. I got the flight, which is three different beers, including the strawberry blonde nitro, the milk start nitro, and the vanilla, and then the coffee espresso cocktail. I figured Jackie's not gonna want that stout. So I'm gonna drink the stout and then I'm gonna use my stout cup so that we can share the other drinks so we can all try it. Smart. Right? Smart, I like Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> How awesome is it that they actually made the Ratatouille look like it was in the actual movie? So like if you had Ratatouille before, it does look all like different, but this is exactly how they use it and how they make it in the movie. So that is so festive. I'm just gonna dive right Let's in. in. Let's get in there. Let's get in. If you have seen the actual movie Ratatouille, you know that when the food reviewer or the food critic actually takes a bite of the Ratatouille for the first time, his whole childhood rushes back because it's like identical to how his mom made it. And I kind of feel that same way whenever I take a bite of something and it goes black and white. Mm. 
You can see the zucchini in there, real nice. I just love the way it's presented. Very delicious. I mean, I've always loved ratatouille. I've only had it twice on Disney property. I've had it here, obviously, and then at a uh, Citric Crows at the Grand Floridian. But I don't know wh which one's better, honestly. I, don't, I can't really compare. So I went and I actually got the stout. Jackie's drinking on the strawberry. Yeah, strawberry no, it is a beer, all right. It's really good. It's yeah. not a cider. It's not a cider, yeah. It's a, it's wow. A beer. It's delicious. Oh, good, good. Yeah, I took a sip already because, you know. How fancy you. The three different beers inside World Show Place. The strawberry, like, literally tastes not even like beer. It is beer. At first, I thought it was a cider because of the color, but I got to stick with the milk stout. I mean, this is very good. The coffee, I mean, the vanilla nitro, I, uh, that one has like a strange taste to it. But this is amazing. I can't wait to get to the coffee cocktail, the coffee old fashioned. Now I am all done with my ratatouille. I loved it. I think I'm gonna get some dessert, but I don't know which one I'm gonna do. The pistachio or the blood orange lemon tart. Both of them look amazing. Or maybe I should try the coffee drink. Oh boy. I'm also loving the piano player. Like he is playing some very like, like yeah, dramatic music right now. As I drink my uh, coffee old fashioned. The old fashioned is very, very strong and very delicious. But now I think I'm gonna do the pistachio cake. And it actually comes with cherry mousse and Morello cherries. Very fancy. Oh boy, it's good. I'm having a dilemma here though. Uh-oh, what's the dilemma? I really thought we couldn't get better than that rose. Is it better? This is phenomenal. At first I tried the pistachio cake on its own, mm -hmm. but then I mixed the cherry mousse and the pistachio cake. And I'm like, kind of like, what is this weird combination of flavors happening? I really might have to say this is better. I don't know. I think it's equal. Equal? Yeah. Because can we call it a draw? Let's call it a draw. The search to see if anything can beat those two is on. I don't know. Jackie has opted out from trying the uh, coffee old fashioned. So yeah. I'm gonna finish it up, but she did get two drinks yeah. for, well, one for her and one for me of yeah. something else. Because the beer like flight was okay. The beer flight was disappointing. Yeah, a little yeah. disappointing, but I mean, this is still a very decent drink. It's not like, not too overbearing on the bourbon, but you can still taste the coffee. But the other drink, I think that's gonna be a winner. Yeah. This is the drink that Jackie actually got. The rusty nail, huh? The rusty nail. Well, cheers. 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 Now we think the nail is edible, but we're gonna find out. It looks edible. <laughs> it looks edible. Ooh, very strong. I can really taste the bourbon in this, and a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of apple, but majority is bourbon. Where the coffee, old fashioned, it was like a good blend, and you really couldn't taste much. I think this is a stronger drink. I really think I think this is the the stronger drink actually of the show place. Yeah. Oh, it's edible. It's edible. I'm it's glad you place. tested it out. <laughs> it's, chocolate. <laughs> it's chocolate. Nice. Mm -hmm. Still got one more dessert to try, the blood orange lemon tart. I don't even know how to kind of like go about eating these because you want to try to get everything in one bite. I'm thinking this is all the blood orange and maybe the center part is the lemon. So we're going to try to... Oh, oh, it's really soft. I thought it was going to be hard. Okay, there we go. So this seems like a, a pretty good first bite right here. I don't think it actually compares with the pistachio or the rose, but it's still very good and it can actually, it can hold its own. I mean, it depends. If you love lemon and blood orange and tarts, I just love pistachio. So I feel like they both have an unfair advantage because they both had pistachio in them. One of my favorites is coming on, Trevor Carlton. A fusion of oh man. And Warhol era pop art, his work has been exhibited across the globe. Please welcome to the stage, Disney fine art artist, Trevor Carlton.
he is my favorite artist here. I absolutely love it. He did that in 15 minutes, and you can actually go buy that exact Mickey painting out at his booth. Like, you can go buy that right now, the one that he just made. Unbelievable. Thank you so much, Trevor Collerton. You're the man. I, I think. Thanks. I think we are done Maybe in World Show Place. Pile. You got this. Yep. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Thank you. Everything. <laughs> we were in World Show Place for quite a while because there was so much <laughs> happening in there. So right? Yeah. So we had so many different food offerings, so many drink offerings, and then all the different entertainment. Obviously, art defying gravity, and then Trevor Carlton rocked that stage. Overall, I absolutely can hang out in there, but we need to move along. We need to make our way around World Showcase. There are so many different amazing things at Festival of the Arts and the trouble that I have is because normally I would go up to a booth and look at something and be like okay I like that I'll get that but like there are things that I'm excited to try that I haven't even gotten to yet and I'm looking forward to it so like I don't want to eat too much like I know I want to get the short rib I'm very excited for that and then some of the other drinks that are actually around so it's like you gotta pick and choose and you have to come multiple times one time will not cut it after having the Haku beer in Japan, which actually I think is probably the best beer in the festival, I think we're gonna actually sit down and watch the Voices of Liberty because they're doing a special Festival of the Arts show. So this is gonna be really nifty to see. One, two, one. Uh -oh. to the Disney songbook. Be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, Sherry, and we'll provide the rest. See the line where the sky is the sea. See the line where the sky is the sea. See the line where the sky is the sea. When they were hitting Moana and then ending it with Wish Upon a Star, bravo.
Bravo. <laughs> Voices of Liberty was so amazing. I know we didn't get to talk about the transition from day to night, but now it is nighttime in World Showcase. We've made our way halfway around World Showcase. Probably gonna stop at Germany next because that's where the short rib is and I've been really eyeing that up all day. But then we're gonna keep on going along. We wanna do a full lap and get as much as we can. We've already, we've already done so much. This is such a great night. And I also have to say that the temperature dropped to the 50s. So I'm glad I'm wearing my spirit jersey, but holy moly, I wasn't expecting a chilly night. I'll take it though. I'll take it. And here is the Germany menu, and we got the red wine braised beef short rib. I'm so excited to try that. They also have so many other amazing offerings, including some good drinks, including a three daughters brewing rose hard cider so they have a rose hard cider and then also a rose blonde ale i might get the blonde ale and a beef short rib and there it is the rose blonde ale with strawberry hibiscus very fancy look at this this is that short rib isn't it amazing guys i'm going to try to focus in on it but unbelievable, I was so excited to try this. A little bit of potatoes, some broccolini, and then it looks like a red wine vinaigrette right there. This is amazing. As it gets darker in the night, it's harder to eat on camera because it's so dark. So I'm panning an audience to actually show you guys this bite on camera. Like if I went over here, it would be, oh yeah, if I, if I, if I did it right here, it would be a little bit darker and it would like get out of focus. So we're going to face the good lighting. Hey guys, how are you? And uh, try the short rib. I'm excited for this. Favorite festival food, not dessert, but food right here. I absolutely love it. So delicious. Definitely worth it. The short rib was so amazing. I'm definitely gonna be coming back to get more of it. Absolutely, I could probably eat a dinner of it. So like if I come and get like two orders of short rib, I think that's like a, a dinner size. And the rose beer, the blonde ale is really good. Still not as good as the Haku beer in Japan though. We are gonna move along from Germany, but that short rib, I don't think anything can beat it for me. It was so amazing. And I wanna show off some more of the art boots that are actually are here. Some of them actually have signs that says, please don't record. So I don't wanna show a lot of them. I will ask permission before I actually film it though, uh, just in case. One of my favorite boots of Festival of the Arts is the Whiskers and Wine booth. I remember coming here probably uh, four years ago and I got one of these actual Whiskers and Wines and she actually colored out the eye on my one cat Rita because she was missing her eye and I thought that was amazing. So it's just cats drinking wine. I mean, you can't go wrong with that, right? But now we are almost finished and we need to move along. I know that Pop Eats is still on my list and then also the Festival of the Arts Mexico stand. That one would be a good one to stop at. I feel like maybe we need to stop and take a Grand Fiesta tour. It's been a while since I've been even done the Grand Fiesta tour. So I'm happy to be back here. Oh boy. Who can forget these narrow passageways? <laughs> I feel very claustrophobic when I'm walking through here. There we go. like Donald is missing and they just replaced him with a, a sombrero. Huh. Well that was absolutely fantastic. How about Donald missing from the Grand Fiesta tour? I was a little shocked. I did see rumors but do you think they could have put like a topiary there or something? Why'd they just put a plant with a sombrero on it? Anywho's we did get stuck in there a little bit and now the park is officially closed. So we're not gonna be able to make it to Pop Eats, but we're coming back. And like I said, the best thing about Festival of the Arts is it changes weekly. And there were so many amazing things. I have to say the Japan beer was my favorite beer of the festival. 
the pistachio two desserts were number one and the short rib was the best food food item so pistachio and the rose the haku beer and the short rib my favorite things at festival of the arts so far i will make another video though i will be back and i'm just happy to be here so i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye